everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm really excited to share with you the new kit and add-on stamp sets that are releasing at the Paper Person Shop. Uh, today is uh, July 15th, 2021. There's a lot to share, so let's get right into it. I'm going to start with the kit. It is so beautiful, and I believe this kit is called Make a Splash. So you get a 3x4 stamp set, and you have Play All Day, Feels Like Summer, Summer Snapshots, and then you have the, what is that, Heat Waves, and then you can kind of document the highs and lows, humidity, feels like, really, really cute little stamp set. You also get the sticker sheet, it's puffy stickers, and it is so adorable. I love the water splashes, the hearts, the summer, so, so cute. You get some alpha stickers in blue, and I love that they're hollow with white, really cute. You get a sticker sheet and the ice cream cones are like my jam, you guys. I really, really like ice cream cones, but you have all kinds of different ice cream cones, some fruits, and this was designed by Sahin Designs. It is so beautiful, loving the poolside beach, adorable sticker sheet. And let's get into the 12 by 12s. They are as beautiful. So this first one is obviously a cutout three by fours. You have summer plans, you have um, sand castles, fruits, so adorable. Another cutout. This one is as beautiful. This one has some four by sixes, three by fours, chase the sun, July, 2021, make a splash. Love those and those lounge chairs, so cute. This is by far my favorite. I love it when uh, there's like people swimming <laughs> and it's just the perfect way to document summer. So you have it in white, like the background is white and then this one, the background is blue. Oh, I love this. Totally trimming these to fit into a four by eight for my traveler's notebook. Another diving, people diving. I love the representation in this paper. So, so pretty. And the back is the striped white and blue. And then you have this one, which is as gorgeous. And then you have like note paper, kind of like lined paper. Floral, love the purples, the pinks, the blues. And then you have strawberries. So fun. So many beautiful patterns, such a lovely little kit. So excited to use it. And hopefully, or maybe I will be sharing how I use it in my process video today. So just keep watching if you wanna see how I use that. But anyways, let's move on to the add-on stamp sets. They are as beautiful. This one is called Born to Swim. This is perfect to document if you have kids that are swimmers. And obviously if you just swim for fun, but it has the eat, sleep, swim, love the swimmer with the swimming cap, the pool, born to swim, morning swim, really, really cute, loving this. I think this one's called summer essentials, love the bathing suit, the fan, the Birkenstocks, so cute. You have beach read, summer essentials, it's getting hot in here. Love it. Sorry if I'm going really quick, but there's so many stamp sets. Uh, this one is called Sun and Sand. Seashells, perfect for documenting a trip to the beach. My favorite beach, watching the waves, sun and sand. You have these circles on the bottom that have on the coast, by the ocean, at the shore. You have an alpha stamp. And this alpha stamp is so adorable. It's all lowercase and it's called Hank and it does have numbers as well. This one is definitely a favorite. It is called Tastes Like Summer. So I'm loving the cooler. I don't think I've ever seen a cooler stamp. That's so cool. Then you have the kebabs. They are so cute. Uh, as a Middle Eastern Arab American, we always have kebabs for barbecue. So that is gonna be perfect to stamp with a photo. And then you have the summer food, anything you can eat while walking, I totally agree. On the grill, cute little stamp set. And last but not least, out on the water, love the floaties, uh, come sail away, a day at the lake. I've been going to the lake 
lately and really enjoying it. So this is perfect to document a day at the lake. So I'm loving these stamp sets. They all released today. I will have a link in the description box for you. But for now, let's get to my process video where I'll be using either the kit or one of these stamp sets on my project. Okay, you guys, let's start working in my traveler's notebook. I'm gonna be documenting these three photos of my ice cream when I'm sitting at the pool. I love eating ice cream while I'm at the pool. Now I'm thinking I want to choose one of these papers as my background. So I trimmed down the paper with the white background and the swimming people on there. And I'm trying to find a page where I'm okay covering the pattern. I end up choosing this one with the green pattern paper and I went ahead and stuck down the pattern paper, but I'm gonna end up changing my mind. I feel like it's pretty busy and it's not like working for me. So what I'm gonna end up doing is trimming this pattern paper down and then grabbing some white paper to add it to the background. So it's gonna be like layered. So I'm gonna have more white and then on the sides, I add the pattern paper, just like strips, just to add a bit of color and dimension. And that way, when I add my own stamping and embellishments, it's not too much. So when I trimmed the pattern paper, I had this little strip and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use it. I don't want to waste any of this. So I end up adding it to the right side of my spread. And that way it gives me somewhere to add my photos, somewhere to add a title and I'm using more of that pattern paper, but it's not in your face kind of thing. I grabbed the new alpha stamps from the paper person shop and I'm going to use it to stamp summer. These alphas are not really big and I love that because I can create like a cluster of stamping embellishments around my title and it's going to bring in some of the color from my pattern paper and also add a lot of dimension to my title. So I end up stamping Summer, and then I'm gonna grab one of the new stamp sets that released today. It had the Birkenstocks, I love Birkenstocks. So I'm gonna use that Birkenstock stamp to stamp next to Summer. Now I went with this beautiful blue from Close to My Heart, but it wasn't doing it for me. I don't know what it is, I just didn't like it. I went with a different blue and now I'm going to stamp it on white paper to see if I like it. I still don't like it. I end up going with the paper person's shop. I think it was the coast color. It's a beautiful subtle blue. I end up stamping that. I'm going to grab the outline, stamp it in black, trim it out and cover the first stamp I added to my title. I do this a lot. I change my mind. Sometimes I just go for it and it doesn't work out and that's okay. Uh, that's the beauty of stamping on white paper or sticker paper and covering it up. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. I love this color so much more because it really matched my photos really, really well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick down my photos. I do this a lot where, because the traveler's notebook is so small, I will shrink down my photos. I believe these are two by twos and kind of add them in a strip on my spread. It's a great way to have more space to stamp and add embellishing and you can like layer the heck out of it. So it's really, really fun. I love using smaller photos in my traveler's notebook. But I'm going to use that same stamp set, the Born to Swim again, and I'm going to stamp Eat, Sleep, Swim, trim it out, and add it as an embellishment to one of my photos. It's going to be a great way to add layering to that spread. And then I'm going to grab the adorable fan and stamp it behind one of my photos. So you really don't have to just layer over your photos. It's fun to layer underneath the photo. And that way, if you add an embellishment or something, it's just going to give dimension to your spread and your photo, if that makes sense. So I just lift up my photo a little bit, stamp the fan and call that one done. 
Now, while I have this stamp set out, I decide I'm gonna stamp Summer Essentials right underneath the other. That way each photo has a little bit of stamping around it. And I'm gonna stamp the swimsuit right under my title. Again, I wanted to create a little cluster for my title. So I'm layering it up with stamping and I'll end up bringing in some embellishments from the kit to add more dimension to my title. Now this is where I bring in some of the stickers from the kit. I love the water splatter and the splash. So I'm gonna use it to add right above my title. These are puffy stickers and they're so adorable. I really wanted to hoard them, but I thought better of it and said it needs to be on a spread than in my stash. Anyways, I end up also adding some hearts to my swimsuit. I'm gonna use some of the stickers from this sheet to add ice cream and this little circle that said, this is paradise. Of that, the embellishments or the stickers had that peach in it. It just matched really well with the blue. And that puffy sticker sheet had these little puffy circles. So I used those to add color and dimension around my stamping and my photos. I even added one to my fan, which looked really cute. But I'm gonna finish this up by adding to my cluster around my title. I want to grab my favorite little mini stamp from Everyday Explorers and stamp the little uh, flower around my photos, around my title. I always feel like you don't really need to add much, just the tiniest little stamp to use, um, I don't know, like splatter or it could be used as sprinkles or whatever the case is, adds a lot to your spread. But that's about it, you guys. I'm just gonna grab a label so I can add a little bit of journaling. I end up adding it right underneath my title and then I call my layout done. Don't forget, today is release day at the Paper Person Shop. I will be adding all the links down in the description box for you. And I wanted to thank all my new members, my Hibbas Peaches. If you want to join my membership here on YouTube, I always have the link for that down in the description box or you can find it on my channel and just click the join button. But that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.